Hi, I'm Bob. Today, let's learn how to use data to run an OLS regression model. The estimation command regress fits a model using linear regression. By the post estimation command, margins reports the predictive value for the dependent variable or the marginal effects of some independent variables. We use the National Longitudinal Survey dataset. We generate a new variable, the log of the wage. and label this variable. We type describe to look at the three variables we will use in the regression. The command summarize gives us information of the three variables, including the number of observation, mean, and deviation. For the dummy variable Julian, we can use tabulate to find the number of observations at each category. We regress log wage on grade and Julian. Julian is a categorical variable, so we add I dot in front of it. Let's look at the result of the regression. For one more year of schooling, wage increase by 9% on average, holding other factors constant. Union members earn 18% more than non-union members. We can use the option variance covariance matrix robust. The point estimates are the same. All the estimates are significantly different from zero at the 5% significance level. We can also add the interaction term. We type pang pang between the two variables and add c dot in front of the continuous variable. The command margins is very useful. We can look at the fitted value of log wage at different levels of grade. And graph the result using margins plot. The linear prediction of log wage increases with grade. We can also obtain the prediction of log wage by grade for different Julian group. For Julian and non-Julian members, they have different wage prediction. The two curves converge as the educational level increases. The different slopes of the curves or the marginal effect of grade or not wage can be obtained by this command. The marginal effect of grade on log wage is higher for non-Union members.